Hi, I'm Lisa Collins for Hollywood.com, and we're here on the red carpet for the movie August Rush, a film about love, music, and how it inevitably connects it all. Tell me a little bit about your inspiration for um, writing this. Absolutely. My nephew is a musical prodigy, and so I, I, every time I saw him play the piano, he went to a different dimension, and every time he listened to music, he went to a different dimension. I thought that was just m miraculous, um, because I'm not you know, enormously gifted musically, so I thought it was really interesting. Then I saw a quote, a Zen quote, that said, it's the silence between the notes that makes the music. And I thought that was apropos to him and the way he lives his life, because he's a very quiet kid until he gets behind a musical instrument. So I came up with August Rush, and this is a kid who has very limited communication skills except through music. And once he really discovers music, it blossoms. And uh, he has a sense of urgency in his life because he wants to find love. Love is an internal thing. And when you hear music, it goes in your ear. So it also goes in. It's not like touch where it's external. So it gets really deep in. So, you know, you might hear a song for 10, 15 years, but once you hear that song, you remember that kiss, that dance, that touch, the smell, what, what you ate, what they looked like. Music has that power, that transcending power, uh, like an old photograph. When you see an old photograph of your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister and it takes you back to that moment, music's got that gift and, you know, and that's love. I'm kind of the August Rush character uh, in real life, not you know, the actor, but I write all the music for him, so uh, I kind of had to play that role in, with my music. Without music, is there, you know, do you really understand what love is? I mean, love is so well expressed in, in song. I think you usually make great music when you are in love or falling out of love. So, um, yeah, I think there, there is a good connection. They're both like the best things of life. So, yeah. I play author, um, and he's a street performer who brings in um, August Rush and um, into the abandoned theater, and um, you know it's 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 just a great film, and uh, you know we just we we bond throughout the film, and uh, we become friends. I play Lizzie in the movie. Um, I'm Carrie Russell's best friend, and uh, I'm her confidant as well. When she's going through all the trouble, she turns to me, and I give her wonderful advice. And I'm also her accompanist because she's a cellist, and I play piano for her. Ah, and do you play music in real life? Yes, I am a classically trained pianist and I'm also a singer-songwriter on Warner Brothers, so... I was blessed with my cast, I have to say, and I adore working with actors, but, um, you know, Freddie Highmore obviously was really one of a kind, and he, he has that kind of amazing vulnerability, but also a real fearlessness that I needed for August, and um, he was like the calm at the center of a storm. And then, of course, um, Johnny Reese Myers has uh, had an amazing energy on set, you know, and this kind of raw, instinctual, immediate response to the material, and to that's the way he works. And then Kerry of course was much more poised and thoughtful but also she had a bit of a steel spine in this movie I think that that it was beautiful great to see her you know she's beautiful and she can look fantastic but she also wanted to kind of get her fingernails dirty in this one and get angry and you don't get to see that often in, in female roles you know anytime I shoot here it's the best experience of my life I love shooting here anytime I get a chance I shoot in New York anytime you shoot a movie in Toronto and they have extras going yeah I'm from Brooklyn eh it doesn't work as well and you can't have that you need New York because it is New York is a character. New York is the real thing. And if you're shooting a movie about music in New York, you need New York for the music, uh, the music of every moment in New York. Look around you. It's like Gershwin flowing. It's got music, girl, everywhere. Uptown, downtown. Hola, mira, mommy. You got this thing, and it just keeps you moving, you know? You got to have it, poppy. Listen, and, and you get in a cab. Can you turn the radio down? Fala Hini Osama, please. Fala, you know, listen, listen, it's all crazy. You got to have music. And then you have the Russian clubs in Brooklyn. Rozlavie and Jewish music. What? Music? It's klezmer. Why? Music to flee by. Things you need. It's all this stuff. That's why we take the skin off our penis. You gotta move. You can't travel with that stuff. You're traveling people. You don't want sand in there. You understand that. <laughs>